Hey, friends and uh, family, church family, again, uh, today is a day uh, of the Lord, as is every day, and I'm going to be reading in Proverbs 12, uh, verses 1 through 14. This has a lot in, in here. Uh, it sometimes can be a little critical, so bear with me uh, as I uh, read this and uh, receive some insights I think are here in this passage of Scripture. Proverbs 12, starting with verse 1. To learn, you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. The Lord approves of those who are good, but he condemns those who plan wickedness. Wickedness never brings stability, but the godly have deep roots. A worthy wife is a crown for her husband, but a disgraceful woman is like cancer in his bones. The plans of the godly are just, the advice of the wicked is treacherous. The words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush, but the words of the godly save lives. The wicked die and disappear, but the family of the godly stands firm. A sensible person wins admiration, but a warped mind is despised. Better to be an ordinary person with a servant than to be self-important but have no food. The godly care for their animals, but the wicked are always cruel. A hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies has no sense. Thieves are jealous of each other's loot, but the godly are well-rooted and bear their own fruit. The wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escaped such trouble. Wise words bring many benefits, and hard work brings reward. You know, these are uh, just kind of common things, common sense things in our lives that um, we can hold to every day. And um, even though sometimes it's difficult to walk and honest and have integrity in our lives, um, it's well worth it as these Proverbs uh, from thousands of years ago will attest. Uh, you know, the first part where it says, to learn, you must love discipline. And sometimes uh, today, in today's world, discipline is uh, kind of a non-entity or uh, that it is um, uh, not uh, as important as perhaps some people think it is. But, um, you know, the last part of this verse says it is stupid uh, to hate correction. None of us like to be criticized. None of us like to be corrected, especially when we think we are right. But, uh, you know, if we have an open mind and look at ourselves honestly and see in uh, all our relationships and um, as we're uh, involved with family and even church family, uh, sometimes that can be difficult. But if we listen to a person um, to correct us when we're doing something wrong, it's well, well worth it. In verse two, it says, the Lord's approves of those who are good, but he condemns those who are, who plan witness. And, and again, we see good and evil in this world all over the place. And um, we as believers in Jesus Christ, what he did for us, we want to cling to the goodness in our lives, even though it means sometimes sacrificing uh, our own pride or sacrificing uh, something uh, for uh, others. Um, it talks about uh, a marriage relationship. A worthy wife has a crown for her husband, but a disgraceful woman is like cancer in his bones. How often have we seen that played out in real life? All of us know people that have had troubles. And uh, for uh, men and women that have a wandering eye, so to speak, um, you know, how much that uh, destroys uh, the trust in, in the relationship uh, that they're in. Uh, it says the words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush, but the words of the godly save lives. Um, the wicked die and disappear, but the family of the godly stands firm. A sensible person wins admiration, but a warped mind is despised, and so on. It talks about the, um, in essence, the, you know, I hate to say a, a secular term, but the yin and the yang. I mean, uh, there's good, there's evil, and uh, we have to choose sometimes as believers in Jesus Christ uh, which side will stand. And so uh, I hope by reading these Proverbs, these common sense approach to life, uh, that it gives you hope uh, and trust in 
the goodness uh, of the Holy Spirit that's inside you that guides and directs. And he is always going to tell you uh, which side of an issue to be on. And, um, you know, uh, we have to trust in faith uh, that our faith uh, is tested every day, and yet we cling to what is good and hate what is bad or evil. God bless you today. God be with you. Grace and peace, as always. Uh, this is Elder Bo from Fairview Bible Church. Um, hopefully um, clinging to these words as well.